nothing summarizes Rajkumar Hirani's Dunkey more than a, the song in the film Hum to Loot Put Gai. Hirani disappoints. For a man who's given us films like the Munabai series, Three Idiots, P.K., Sanju, here's a film that's devoid of the vibrance that is so essentially Rajkumar Hirani. You would have thought that the vibration quotient in the movie would have gone up considering the fact that you have Shah Rukh Khan in the film and Shah Rukh Khan also disappoints. He hangs, in fact. Not that it's a big surprise, he's, it's part of him. But remove the hand from the movie, and there's very little Shah Rukh left in the film. In fact, there's so much Punjabi in the film that you wonder if the film was more ideal to have Sunny Diol into it. But having said that, I think Shah Rukh in Dunkey is a typical example of miscasting. I would have loved to see Sanjay Dutt doing the role of Hardy that, San, uh, that uh, Shah Rukh does in the film. There is a certain condescence, a certain uh, detached approval that constitutes the persona of uh, Sanjay Dutt. While there's so much of the I hear mainstream acceptance that is Shah Rukh, that he insults the film and today's stars are so star oriented that their image far outreaches a script even if it's a Hidwani film. The release of Dunkey also coincides with the whole uh, story of illegal immigrants happening, the flight being caught, sex trade is happening. So there is a tangential contemporaneous factor to the film. However, Hirani doesn't disappoint in terms of thematic uh, choices. He has something to talk about. He has something up his sleeve. He's talking about the turmoils, the challenges of illegal immigrants. He's talking about people in search of the golden pot at the end of the rainbow. Four Punjabi characters, we have their names for you in a while. Uh, we have uh, Bali, Anil Grover, Babu, Vikram Kochai, and Manu, Tapsi. Three of them, for reasons slightly varying, but basically economic would all want to go to London to make a quick pound or two and get their families out of the problems that they are in. Little do they realize, and you remain, you're made to realize that to a very long, dreary script, that not only do they manage to become illegal immigrants in England, but they also find it impossible to come back. So while this is the basic story, the props in the story are very, very, very cinematic. For instance, these three people have Hardy who comes in with an old tape recorder of a friend to meet his parents in the village and runs into these people. He becomes a teacher for Manu Tapsi and all four of them go to a English learning school because the local uh, a uh, visa assurer has told them that the best way to go to England is to become a student. So they go to a school that teaches them English language for the purpose of the IELTS examination. And you have an extremely talented woman, Irani, in arguably his worst appearance on cinema. He hangs in a manner that could give Shah Rukh Khan an inferiority complex. The two are competing. The one bright spot is a student in the class, Vicky Kaushal. Unlike these boys and gal who have economic reasons to go to England, he has emotional reasons to go. 
what happens. Do they go or they go? Of course they do because you know from the posters, and you know from the promos that of course they are in England. So three of them go to England. What happens to Vicky Kaushal, I won't tell you. Watch the movie. And uh, once they are in England with Hari Natusha Rohan, huh? they are caught what the police does with them and then they stay back in England except for uh, Hardy. Unlike the others, Hardy refuses to seek asylum in England on the ground of political threats back home. You know, he's one of those chess meeting Indians. I told you the film is very Punjabi. I also told you I miss Sunny Deol in the movie. So he comes back, they are there, and then all of them meet years, years later with a lot of grey makeup all very poorly done, all very theatric, all over the top. And you are tired of this whole narrative because it lacks that genuinity that uh, made the Munabai series what it was. It certainly lacked the novelty that made PK what it was. It certainly lacked the attention of a serious issue that three idiots did. Certainly did not have that passion that Sanju had. So a terrible lacking of all these together makes this a hodgepodge. May still be worth a watch because you have, you know, the Shahrukh Khan fans like Shahrukh Khan, so you're going to see Shahrukh Khan film. He'll give you a couple of nice moments there, a couple of good songs. Tapsi Pano is moderate so it's all right the others are all not worth mentioning specifically worth mentioning are Boman Irani and Shah Rukh Khan for being what they are and what they ought not to have been Vicky Kaushal one bright spot in the movie somewhere down the movie it is said that uh, taking the donkey trail which is the illegal immigration through land through England from India is not easy. Watching this movie isn't either. To me, this is Hirani's worst film in a long time. Definitely as a director, it's a come down for him. And I don't think Tapsi and Shahrukh have anything called screen chemistry. Yet, starved as you are for movies around, then if you other wild and films, I'm not going the rounds. Donkey maybe just the film you could see over the last year or in the beginning of this year, because before mainstream cinema starts dosing you again with large dollops of violence. Happy New Year to all of you. I know it's been a while since I've spoken to you about films. Hopefully. 2024 will get us more regularly and I'll at least see you 52 times of film a week. Until then, let me sign off with acknowledgements to Datu and Abhinav. Bye-bye.